Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Hearthstone game video, I'm going to showcase Deadstar Karexa vs Dr. Boom. When I'm facing Odd Warrior with Secret Hunter, I really like to go for that fatigue strategy with Rexa, which means not drawing with Subject 9, not drawing with Tracking, and trying to outvalue the warrior. It's easier if they don't have Boom, but if they have Boom in response, then suddenly they are also in a position where they can try to pressure you, and that makes for a pretty interesting game. Let's go take a look who wins this showdown. So against Warrior I would really like to have the Dead Stock Rexa. I don't think I ever win with early tempo. It's at least very unlikely. So I'm just going to mulligan everything for Dead Stock. So I timed you out to get rid of the link. Time to adapt. Into poisonous. Poisonous seems good. Tank I hate playing against warrior. Well, I found dead stuck Rexer in my opening hand, so I should always win. I guess it's not completely guaranteed, but the odds are relatively good. Do I want to develop a secret? No, I think there's no rush to develop a secret. I can just hero power here. Just try to limit his armoring up a little bit for now. I just want to hit Legend, but I don't have the time. Legend isn't important. Quite the contrary, actually. When I reach Legend, typically the level of play goes down. I mean, unless you're like top 1000 or something, playing on ranks 2, 1, 3, it's the same experience as playing in Legend. If you're playing in lower ranks of Legend, the players are playing much worse than the players on these ranks do. How's rank 1 3 stars? Ah. I mean, you can do it. Uh, it's of course good to play a deck that is suitable for the meta. Playing very heavily off meta decks can sometimes be punishing, but... Still... So far this pressure game is going quite well. What was the coin all about? I didn't quite understand that one. I don't currently have a beast here. I think I can play Wandering Monster. I don't actually want to play the trackings. Because it might take me a while to grind him out even with the Death Stalker. Okay. Then we turn ourselves into the Death Stalker. And then the grind begins. Now I'm just going to start trying to slowly grind him out of this game. Let's see whether that's going to work out or not. So far we're even in the fatigue race. That is obviously going to change into his favor with the hatchlings and stuff unless I can find silences. Which I currently cannot. Direwolf. Not that great. Nesting rock. Unlikely that I can really build a good board for nesting rock. Let's pick up the direwolf and see what happens. Direwolf with divine shield and poisonous. Or stealth and poisonous. Stealth and poisonous sounds good. Let's grab that one. We'll play the 4 4 poisonous stealth beast here. I mean, yeah, he can like reckless flurry this down and save his hatchling. If that's what he likes, that's definitely doable. And there's going to be super colliders and stuff, so it's not impossible for him to win. It's just very unlikely. <laughs> he goes early boom. I got early Rex, so he got early boom. Now this is getting interesting. 
now we're starting to talk about what's going to be this game. Ooh, I found a silence. I do like a good silence. But I might need that for some of his mechs. Lifesteal rush and silence. What's there not to like? But for now I think it's going to be eagle horn bow. And animal companion. Then if he has the super collider. That's a powerful tool. I don't think I'm just killing this fellow here. I think I'm hitting him in the face now too. This opens up various possibilities of course. But I think this is still correct. Now Dynomedic and the Micro Squad is an exact board clear. That is sweet. Oh, those wolves. I do think I like some wolves. I could also give all of my beasts charge. I like beasts having charge. It could be poisonous or it could have lifesteal. Oh, so many options. I think poisonous is fine. But this turn is just going to be wandering monster into the spell stone. Let's just do this for now. See what his response is. I played around 20 games of both. But it can really go either way. Bear shark. I want to make a beast every turn, and I never want to draw. That's a pretty weak. Well, let's see what we can get for the Thunder Lizard. Live Steel. Not great. Four mana five four with Live Steel. He has the Zap Cannon right now. I don't want to play this yet. This is for something much more important. <laughs> the Arachnid cheered. Thank you for the cheer, I appreciate the support. This, let's see what I can pick up from the Animal Companion. Not a whole lot, to be honest. This will be a bit on the weak side. Raise him more. He can still use the Super Collider, but then he's going to use the Super Collider eventually. Anyway, so I think this is fine. I'll even drop the bear shark over there. With the divine shield at Leok in the middle. There's plenty of ways for him to deal with this, of course. But that's not the point. I don't mind him dealing with this yet. That is that is not yet significant. The important parts will come later. Like, I suppose I do need to react to this Baku, because it's potentially dangerous. Add a random beast to your hand. Yeah, we could take more resources, I suppose. This could have Taunt. That's not great. But I guess we'll pick up that one. 4-4 four, four Taunt with random beast to my hand. I can still take some damage from the Baku, right? Well, Wandering Monster doesn't even let it deal any damage right now, so let's just play the Zombeast. I pick up a Life Drinker. But then he hits there and this Life Drinker both die. Venom Strike Trap is not any better. Neither is this fellow. I guess I'll play the Life Drinker out there. Um, it's a great board to Super Collide. But I don't mind that. I want to get rid of these Super Collider charges so that I'm able to get something better going later on. <laughs> Good night, Tarachnet. Yeah, and this one couldn't get through anyway.
Cobalt Scalebane, really? In an Ord Warrior? I didn't see that coming. That was intriguing. That was really intriguing. Does he have no have power to actually challenge my health total and win the game? That would be awkward. That would be very awkward. So I could of course silence the hatchling and then kill the scale bane. This him with 10 power on the board. I think something like that is fine. Let's make another beast too. Beetle might be fine because I might even need some health in this game after all. If you played an elemental last turn, adapt this is an elemental. I could try that one too. A taunt elemental. Now silence this fellow. And I'll kill off the scale. I did this in the wrong order. Sorry. Sorry about that. I could have had three more health if I did it in the right order. I was a little bit rushed because of the rope. I'm just taking some damage here, but... It's not too much yet. We'll see if it becomes too much at some point. Well, there's a kill command. Kill command is nice. I can play this big taunt on the way. And I can kill command the Baku. Which is the video that was dealing more damage at the moment. But down to 16. He only has one arm, so shield slams are not an option right now, unless there's a shield block to go with them. You should sometimes be able to win it too, but obviously it is not, not an easy one. Okay, we snipe the minion, which does give him some armor. He can still magnetize his Ciliax over here. Uses the shield slam. And then... Okay, intriguing line. I'm never going to be able to play this card. Let's see if I can find some life stealers. Well, Exploding Bloat, but can also be very, very powerful. But so can Tundra Rhino. If I could find a cheap enough Tundra Rhino, I could give the Life Steel Beast charge. Tundra Rhino with Life Steel. Let's pick up Tundra Rhino with Life Steel, actually. This seems fine. Let's use this one. If I can kill one of these, if I can kill the other one too, then I can also play a Venom Strike Trap. So I get some health here, and I also deny a potential target to magnetize a Ziliax on. He could Dino Medic this down, of course, if he happens to have exactly Dino Medic in hand, which he does. So we'll see. Then he can. The problem is when he can magnetize Ziliax. That that's going to be annoying. Beetle would give me some armor. This would be the this would be the elemental again. Beetle might be fine. Lifesteal rush beetle. With a hound master to go with that. I like that one. Let's do that. So we play this one and we play the hound master on it. And then it will kill this fellow. So he can still magnetize Ziliax here, of course. There's nothing I can do about that, but this gives me some health to go here. You didn't play Turkin Ghost of Positive Fatigue Battle, right? Yes, Caspi, I'm not playing anything that draws cards. Because this one is clearly headed towards Fatigue. So, nothing that draws cards. All of those are out of the question. As you can see, that early boom has been fighting this fighting this fight pretty well so far. And now he gets more armor going. 
that is going to be sweet for him too. Let's see, I could pick a Chilled McCoy, could a random beast to my hand, or I could pick another Tundra Rhino. I do like Tundra Rhinos. Probably with Divine Shield and Poisonous. That seems like the line here. So I'll use my weapon to kill that one. And this Divine Shield and Poisonous Tundra Rhino can punch him in the face a little bit. I mean, he obviously has some mechs from the Omega Assembly in hand, and I still haven't seen the Ziliax. I have another Poisonous Charger here. Okay, turn him over is nice. There's no more Shield Slums left, there's one Reckless Flurry left. Although I don't expect him to be using that one here. I do need to kill the Elise. I can summon a bunch of wolves here, it's going to be fine. I'll make a beast first. Razormo seems like a nice beast. Razormo with... a poisonous Razormo? That's one thing that could be... he still hasn't used any brawls yet. Or Stealthy Razor Maw. Giant Stealth Razor Maw. That's an option. I'll go for the Giant Stealth Razor Maw. I don't actually need to make the beasts here. I can just adapt this fellow. I can give it Wind Fury. That sounds nice. And then I will punch face a little bit here. Let's do it like this. So now Brawl is much less useful. And he didn't get a hero power. Well, of course he can rush a mech into this. That he can do. Plenty of mechs still coming. Oh, that's a good one. Well, that was the best possible mech that he could discover. Because I knew he had spent both of his Dynomatics. And the Discover Dynomatic isn't that common. So, that was a powerful move. More bows. Seven cards in hand. Let's see. Ooh, a cave hydra. Cave hydra could work out. Echo cave hydra with rush. That will cost five mana. I can do two of them in a single turn. That sounds like fun. Let's do that. Can't do it this turn, obviously. This turn is going to be a freezing trap into Spellstone. So we get some board presence here. He still has a pair of mechs in hand. I haven't seen that Ziliax yet. And then there's Pack and there's one Matriarch. We'll see, this is an interesting game. Very, very long game, it seems. That Cobalt Scalebane, when he played the Cobalt Scalebane, there was actually a moment of a moment when he could have done some interesting things. So that was scary for a while there. And he also has one random legendary from the Piñata. And he obviously has one more Super Collider left in the deck. Okay. I suppose there's also weapon removal left, so he might have found the weapon removal. Okay, we get rid of one Brawl here. He still has one more Flurry, he still has one more Brawl. Flurry is usable on the turns when he has the Blast Shield. Or if I can't deal with the armor. He could have Shield blocks too. Plays Darius, that's interesting. Very few people play Darius. Darius is a fun card though. I, I definitely approve of playing Darius. I probably will take the 6 in order to develop. Let's see what I can find here. Direwolf. Stealth Poisonous Direwolf. Or just a tree and a Direwolf. That's... Unfortunately both are going to die if he plays a Super Collider. If I play the Zombies and the Direwolf. Not the greatest of things. This wasn't a great one. 
I think I need to take that six here. I'll probably play it like this. Now the super collider does not threaten the poisonous zombies. And I have something else on the board too. Guys, that's why I really hate to play play against Warrior. You know, win or lose takes so much time. Yeah, I'm I'm still not even sure which one of us is going to win this game. Because this is very, very even so far. He was able to draw one card, so that was Ziliax, right? The card he drew. Wasn't it Ziliax? I think it was Ziliax. I'd have to play both of these zombies if I want to use them to kill this. He gets to discover a mech too. That's annoying. I guess we're going with the beetle. Echo Rush Beetle. Echo Rush Beetle sounds really good. I like the sound of that. Let's do this. Echo Rush Beetles to heal right up. Let's heal up. A little bit here. But I think I will use the weapon to kill that one. I'll leave, leave the stealth poisonous zombie beast hidden here. I healed up a little bit. He can't shuffle more cards into his deck. He has the Ungoro pack. And he has the Matriarch, obviously, but we'll see. At some point, Ciliax will come down. But this is not that time yet. Oh, that's cool. Is it time to use these now? One of these can kill both of these fellows. Then I could either play another to have more board presence. He's going to have the Super Collider out there, though. It will come eventually. Or I could play just one and make another beast. Let's make another beast. Oh, Stampeding Kodo is actually perfect for this position. Charging Stampeding Kodo or Lifesteal Champion? Charging Stampeding Kodo, right? Yeah, Charging champ Stampeding Kodo is perfect for this position. It's going to kill that fellow over there. And it's going to kill that fellow over there. Now the Super Collider hit here can kill these. I think I'll equip a Venom Strike Trap now. Let's do that at this position. I got rid of another mech. There's still a Super Collider coming. Oh, there is a Bulldozer. Oh, that's nice. Although it just dies as well. Sooner or later he will find the Super Collider. I know that. It's impossible for him not to find the Super Collider eventually. Oh, wrap the Hatchling and take my fatigue further away. Wrap the Hatchling costs one, right? So I can do it. Oh, I can do this with the Houndmaster. Yeah, this sounds nice. Let's give my other minions rush. Then I'll play this fellow. It's poisonous, it's going to kill that. It's going to shuffle another card into my deck. And I like cards. Cards are fun. Let me push a little bit of damage. Now he's going to magnetize that Ziliax onto something. No, he's going to spend the second brawl. Fine. Then there's one more Reckless Flurry to go as well. He wins the Brawl. I'm slightly unhappy about that one. And he gets to discover more mechs as well. Okay. Let's discover something. Life Drinker seems like a good card. What can I... Oh, I can have Life Drinker that charges. Yeah, I can do that. Let's play the Charging Life Drinker. Heal up a little bit. Kill off that fellow over there. Do I equip an Explosive Trap? 
I might as well get rid of a card here. So both have... I have five cards left, he has four cards left. I'm slowly getting to a position where fatigue game starts to favor me. Now he has something that he could magnetize Ziliax onto. Yeah, but I didn't want to let him kill, kill that with something else. Did not attack with the, that one. That's surprising. Because now I get the now I get to turn with this fellow. I really think you need to take the trade with the silly X. Because now the now the Hydras are coming in and they are killing off the silly X. And this one pushes face. This has been a very yeah, but if I yeah, so super collider, yeah, it kills it. But if he found something else that was useful, then he could have also used them to kill it. So I wanted it to force the super collider if he has it. Now there is a card that can definitely change the course of the game. I will have to use my poisonous minion to kill it. And there's still going to be the then there's still going to be the Dihorn Matriarch after that. I think this is a bloat, but it's a poisonous rush bloat, but yes please. That sounds like a very good card. Can't use it this turn, obviously this turn I will have to just use this fellow. But it will at least kill the Lich King. That's not all bad. This has to die, obviously, to trigger the death rattle, but it only has four health. So it's not like that's impossible. Now we get the Diehorn Matriarch. So this is no this is being spent this turn to kill this board. And then it's a Raptor Patriarch turn. I can obviously kill the Raptor Patriarch, for example, with the Micro Squad. He has that one random legendary minion. Is there still a discovered mech? And then there's going to be the Ungoro pack at some point. He runs Fungal Mancer in that deck. Now that's a surprise if I ever saw one. Seriously, Fungal Mancer and Cobalt Scale Bane in Ort Warrior. That is curious. So what can I do next? I probably want to kill the mech. But I also want to keep building beasts. Life Drinker seems like a good beast. Can I get one mana beast to go with the Life Drinker? I cannot. Life drink with this is eight mana. When I could do that, then I leave the mech up. But I don't have silence anymore. I think that will come down later. I feel like this turn is going to be Eagle Horn Bow to kill the mech, and then just just this zombies with life steal. He has the Ungoro pack left. Oh, and he had the Gladonosaurus, of course. The another Fungal Mancer. That's intriguing. So many Fungal Mancers. Fungal Mancers and Cobalt Scalebanes seem really, really strange here, but. But fine. I could kill the Gladonosaurus, obviously. 3 9 taunt isn't that great. More exploding bloat, but so oh, there's also nesting rock. But he still has the super collider left. And the pack. Poisonous rush. Poisonous rush bloat, but seems like a good thing to have. I'll just play these zombies this turn. 
get some healing going, deal some damage to him. I don't even know how long I have been playing this game. Have I played like an hour already? It wasn't a 3-9, it was a 5-9, obviously. I mean, have I played like an hour already? I don't even know. And after I played Rexar on 6, it seemed inevitable that I would win. His chance to win was extremely low at that point. But here he is, still competing. He's ahead in he's behind me in fatigue. He is in worse fatigue position. But he keeps trying. So let me see. I make a new beast, of course. Cave Hydra seems like a decent beast. With lifesteal and rush. He's going to have lots of those small ones, but I can't get zomb these zombies to die. That's kind of my problem there. Well, I do have a mossy horror. But if we can get some good magnetization out there. It could also have stealth and poisonous. I mean, this should be fine, right? Now it's stealth and it's poisonous. Electra. Ooh, to get double packs. Intriguing. Then he has five mana to spend those packs. But didn't he wait too long? Ooh, Primordial Glyph. Ooh, Primordial Glyph giving him armor. So now that he's at 16, I can't kill him as easily anymore. Very interesting. But I can wipe this board. He should still not be able to survive this. Let's make a beast first. Cave Hydra. Seems like an interesting beast. A stealthy Cave Hydra. Maybe. On a smack there. Let's clean up this board. Obviously he gets a bunch of mechs here. But I'm fine with him getting some mechs. I'm just going to mossy horror those away. I can drop a secret keeper on this board as well. It's cool. He was able to pick up iron, so now he has two, four, six cards from the pack. Can he somehow win this? Six cards from the pack. Couple of couple of security rovers. Security rovers have rush, of course. He gets to discover more mechs. Oh, this is intriguing. He's taking 4 fatigue, so kill command is not yet lethal. I can't kill off my zombies. Thunder Rhino, my beast will have a charge. That sounds like a useful skill to have. I could do that for 7 mana and for 4 attack. That sounds fine. So we'll do this one. Then I can also drop the Diamo here. I can use these to kill that one. And this one can kill this one. It will still leave behind a 2-3 taunt, obviously. Subject 9 and kill command. Wait, subject 9 kill command. Do you think was it lead? But they would have. It wouldn't have had rush at that point. I I don't quite get it. So I can just kill him. I don't know what I was thinking. Did I have lethal last turn? Hmm. I have to check that. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show. Please click the like button 
and subscribe to my channel for more.